spoil a lovely evening. Why aren't you out with money? Or did she give her little boyfriend the night off? <laughs> I got some work to do and I need some peace and quiet, okay? Well, since we're alone in the house, I would say that you can find peace and quiet upstairs. I need to use the table. I was enjoying that music. Slide over, Princess. Make some room for me. You know, maybe I have to take your errand into work, but I sure as hell don't have to take it here. You know, Lionel, we have to learn how to share in this family. You want to share? Huh? How about I share some of this in your face unless you get out of here with your blueprints and leave me alone? Go ahead. No. Why waste an expensive cream on you? I don't think so, Matt. I'm not going to give you the pleasure of my anger. <laughs> You are something, Dinah. You finally, for the first time in your life, put in an honest day's work and you go to pieces. Do I look like I'm in pieces? You look a little tired. Well, my physical and emotional well-being are none of your business. You know, it's bad enough that circumstances have forced me to share this disgusting boarding house with you. But I'm not about to share my feelings, too. I don't give a damn about your feelings. But you can bet I will be watching you. Oh, really? Why the sudden attention? Oh, it's not sudden. You've been very deliberate about the whole thing. What whole thing? Huh? Care to enlighten me? Don't you think I know what you're doing? Going around behind my back, whispering to Vanessa's family? Trying to poison them against me? <laughs> my mind, we're a little paranoid, aren't we, Matt? No. It's realistic. Well, what happened to the old calm, cool, nobody can touch me, Matt Reardon, huh? Consider yourself warm, Dinah. What's happened, huh? Is this perfect love affair beginning to crumble? Hmm, are there little cracks in the foundation? Maybe the axe is going to fall. She's ready to pack you in. Has it finally dawned on Mommy Dearest that life with you... What did you tell your kid brother? What? What did you tell Bill about me? What sort of poison did you spit in his ear about Vanessa and me, Remember when Matt tried to... That's when I told him about our engagement. He already knew, didn't he? As soon as he walked in the door, you gave him your own little warped version of the whole story. It wasn't warped. It was the truth. All I told Bill was what everyone else in the family already knew. I told him about the engagement, okay? If he was upset, it was because he was the last to know, just like I was. That's not the way Vanessa and I wanted it to happen. You know, what you seem to forget is that Bill and I are family. We are brother and sister, so we stick together. So no matter how much you think Vanessa loves you, we are her real family, okay? And we are going to be around after you are long gone. Oh, sorry, spilled something. Oh, first come, first day. Sorry. How long are you going to be? Long. I'm going to take the longest, skinniest shower I've ever taken. Okay, great. Just save me some hot water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop saying it. It's screwed up since I moved in. This whole dump is falling apart. Hey, Mr. Handyman! You should come over here and make yourself useful. Do you have a problem? She fixed it. A neat trick, thanks. Boyer. Believe me, what's underneath that towel doesn't interest me in the slightest. But I am interested in your eyes. I've never really noticed them before. Huh? What color are they? Oh, it's not the color. It's what's behind them. Oh, we're not going to wax poetic now, are we? You know, you can tell a lot by looking into someone's eyes. Okay, okay. So, what do you see? 